I'm not completely impartial and an outside observer to the fact of the racial divide in the United States. I have had more than a few experiences that have made this clear to me. Personal experiences with representatives of law enforcement that have made me very conscious of the fact that simply by being me, I could be the cause of suspicion and concern without doing anything wrong. One of these experiences happened when I was a young priest. The other happened when I was already a bishop. In both cases, I was not in clerical attire. I was dressed informally. In one of these incidents, I was simply walking down the street in an apparently all-white neighborhood. A police car drove up beside me, light flashing, no sirens happily, and the police officer said, what are you doing in this area? Do you live around here? Where is your car? You should not be wandering around neighborhoods where you do not live. I never had a chance to tell him what I was doing in the area. I never had a chance to tell him where I lived. I never had a chance to tell him that I was a Catholic priest. And I was staying with friends in the area and was just taking a walk. Just taking a walk. But I wonder, and still do, what it was that I was doing to detract the attention of the police officer. Of course, since I was a very young priest, this was long before I ever heard the expression, walking while black. In another experience, I was driving my car in an apparently very wealthy all-white neighborhood with two small chairs in the back seat and a table in the partially open trunk of the car tied by a rope. A police car with flashing lights and sirens to blare pulled me over and the officer said, where are you going with that table and those chairs? Before I could tell him, I was taking them to a family that I knew needed them. They'd been given to me by generous benefactors. He, out, he asked, where did you get them? Are they yours? Where did they come from? Then he said, we had a call about a suspicious person driving through the area with possibly stolen furniture in his trunk. I wondered what I was doing to make someone suspicious. Many years would pass before I would hear the expression racial profile. However, when he asked me to open my trunk, besides the table, he saw a large black case. What's in that case? I said, that's my closure. Your what? That's my closure. Would you like it? We'll open it. We open the case. What is this? Taking the parts of the closure. Many Catholics don't know that the bishop's patch of staff to closure is a symbol in three or four parts, and it fits into a case like that. What's this for? Is this some kind of a weapon? <laughs> I think it is the opposite. <laughs> It is the staff of a shepherd, and it is used in my ministry as a Roman Catholic bishop. You, a bishop? Yes, I am. Well, how are we supposed to know you are some kind of a bishop? <laughs> well, you weren't supposed to know, <laughs> but nevertheless, I am. And then one of them looked at me more closely. Are you the guy that confirmed my kid I saying so-and-so? I don't know. Well, I may well be the guy that confirmed your kid at St. So-and-so. And more recently, and closer to home, in recent weeks, I have received in my residence parents of children studying in our Catholic schools. One mother and father said, we are thinking of taking our child out of this particular Catholic school because of the racial insults that she has received from a student in the school, and the response does not seem to be adequate. The insults were clear. You nigger. Another group of parents told me they had already taken 
two children out of our country too, because they felt they were not welcome and certainly would not send them to one of our Catholic high schools for more ill treatment. Another said our child had to defend Barack Hussein Obama because the teacher said, we all know he's a Muslim. And the student said, no, he's not. You can Google it. He's a Christian. As a matter of fact, there was great controversy about him going to a church of a very aggressive, militant Baptist minister, Jeremiah Wright. He's a Muslim. And she said, if he were a good man and a good president as a Muslim, what would be wrong with that? Still another teacher said, you know, all this talk about slavery, many of the slaves were treated pretty well. They got three squares a day. It wasn't as bad as people say. To be chained, shackled, beaten, separated from your parents, your children, your language, your culture, your religion, It wasn't as bad as all of that. 